there is a, a lot of deer outside. So kind of want to like run them over with the baler and see what happens when they get all sucked up in here. Oh shoot! Crap! Hold on. Uh. Oh, shoot. Uh, yep, that's the farmer. I gotta run. I gotta run. We're, we're leaving the tractor behind. A few inches later. All right, it's just a little after 9:30 right now. Out this night of September, and we're making our way to the field so that way we don't end up getting caught by the farmer. I he still has not figured out that we went through and cut all that grass. And welcome back, guys, to another episode here on Medicine Creek on Farming Simulator 22. So it is my favorite time of the year. Leaves are starting to change colors on the trees, and the corn starting to turn golden brown. So you know what that means, it is time for corn harvest season. Now, I have accumulated quite a bit of debt during this um, past couple of months, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that this can kind of relieve a lot of that stress that's gonna be, has just kind of happened because of that. And the other night, kind of what you guys could have seen in like the little bit of the introduction that I had going on, is that I almost ran into a situation with the farmer that would have been a disaster um okay well, i guess i gotta move my uh tractors around first before we can even get the combine out good thing they're a case they still start on the first try but anyway like i was saying so we went through and we got most of our hay all bailed up out of that one field that we were kind of just snatching out of and we didn't run into any problems after i kind of like ran off and hit in the trees i i went i, I ran off and chew for like Three hours, four hours, it was, it sucked. I didn't get back late that night, and it was, it was pretty bad. But thankfully we didn't get caught, so we had nothing really to worry about there. What am I doing? Where am I driving this around at? Hold on. I'm trying to park it or somewhere, and I'm like, no, I'm going to get in the way over here if I do that. Hey, we'll just leave it right here. Screw it. Be good. But we are currently going along, getting everything ready for this year's corn harvest season. And we're probably just going to start on the home quarter today i'm just gonna go through getting maintenance and all that stuff done for right now this morning because we still do have a decent amount of work that we do also have to get done uh let's see here can i back in here successfully do it professionally all right oh yeah all right get this kind of pulled out a little bit so that way we can do some maintenance on that as well perfect all right well the setup is looking great but before we get too far into today Let's get the bucket put back on the 7120 by pushing it right through the building. Right in the side of the building, you know. I don't know if I have insurance on this, but whatever. Get the bucket on first, too. All right. Now, in our oat field, we still have, I think it was like 20 bales in here. I did go through the other day, and I did get them all put into pairs. So, at least I was kind of planning myself ahead. Kind of made the work a little bit easier. So all I got to do is come up here real quick like this and then once I get kind of squared up with the bales all I got to go is put my bucket down like so push them up and then I just got to pick it up and then go like that and then boom and then what I'm probably going to do with these is for right now I'm just going to go along and I'm just going to stack them probably like right here on the roadway I don't want to move them too far. So all the bales are just going to go along in this area, probably about right here. Probably about the best spot as any, I would say. If I could just do all of them like that, I think it would be, I think it'd be pretty good. Honestly, that was pretty easy. Oh, we're just about ready to get this corn harvest underway. Uh, we, let's, let's get this truck. Ah, wow. All right, anyway. Let's get this truck fired up here real quick, and we're going to get this kind of like sitting over at the field. And... Wait a minute. Oh, don't tell me. Let's let's climb up here. We got the tarp unfolded here. Come on, climb, climb, climb. All right, we'll use this ladder. Screw it. Uh, well, all right, well, scratch that idea. We are going to be taking these oats that I have loaded up. I guess I could have reminded myself that I had a thousand bushels of oats that we got to get taken to the co-op. I did such a great job on stacking all those bales up. We haven't even fed the cattle yet this morning. It's already like almost 9.30. We gotta hurry up.
Oh, there we go. We just got done getting that load of oats un unloaded there, and we got $34,993 plus a $1,377 environmental bonus score. So now we are $170,000 in debt right now. Let's see what this harvest can bring. All right, so before we can get started, got my neighbor back. I uh, hit my barn here, but I got my neighbor Jerry here. He's helping me out with the harvest right now. He's going to be running truck for me, so hopefully he does a good job at it. I wouldn't expect anything less from Jerry. He's good help. Uh, we'll cut in front of him. He's going to be, be taking a sweet time over there. Probably going to try making it around that corner. But before we get into today, we are going to get our cows fed so that way they are good and tied over. So that way we can continue on with getting this harvest done. And then I don't have to worry about getting them fed until afterwards. But for right now, let's get this bale here on the... Why are they so heavy? I just got to move in, like, all those other bales. There we go. Moved, like, two oat bales or two straw bales at a time. And this one's, like, giving me some pro giving me a lot of problems. Get ourselves inside this gate here real quick. And there we go. I guess it opens that way. How we doing, girls? All right, where's this feeder at? So I don't run into it. Right there. Almost overshot it. All right, there we go. Perfect. The cows have been fed. Look at all them happy cows. I'm just a happy, happy cow. I'm just a happy dog. A bunch of dogs out here. All right, because I don't see an issue with this, we'll just park this right here because I'm going to end up having to feed the... Well, actually, we'll just put it up by the bale. So that way I know it's out of the way. But since I am going to have to feed the cows later after harvest, we'll just leave this sitting right here and call it good. I'm not starting the engine. I'm not. I'm not using it. And then before... um, Never mind. She... Uh, He's like, yeah, the gate's open. I know. But we're going to get this gate shut. And then I, so I opened up the field a little bit right here. But we got to get going a little bit more. So that way I have some turnaround space. And then I'm going to get all the end rows out of the way. And then we'll, we will officially have started corn harvest of 2024. So alone, just alone here on the end rows. And we're already at like 208 bushels an acre. And that's, well, 207.7. And it's just kind of bouncing around, but... I'd say that's pretty good for an end row, like bushel per acre end rows, and like we're above 200. That's honestly that's pretty good. Most of the time I've always seen it, it's always like around like 180. But you know, I think we got record high end rows. I'm I'm kind of like I want to know what the middle of this field has to offer. If we're getting 208 here, then shoot, we might have 300 bushel acre corn. Like I'm already about 50% of the way filled up, and I only got an eight row head. Pretty soon I have to cut a little pass so we can let the grain cart operator come in here. I think Jerry's going to be bouncing back and forth between the grain cart and the truck, so he's going to be busy, and well, depending on how fast we fill up, we might have to wait on him. I'm not too sure. Grain cart driver should be pulling up here any second. I think I seen him. I don't know. I looked off to my right, and I see him hauling down the rows. What are you doing, Jerry? Come on now. Um, Jerry, the, the auger for the, the combine's right here, man. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here. No, I would almost think this is Jerry's first time running the grain cart. He he was there, and then he wasn't there. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens here. Maybe he's going to turn around and get it right this time. Third time's a charm, Jerry. Let's go. There we go. After three tries, Jerry's now finally got it figured out that he's got to pull underneath the auger to get unloaded here with the combine. We have quite a bit of room in between us. we got, like, what, four rows in between us because of this long, uh, long auger here on the, on the 2388. I got that extendo boom. All right, we're just about unloaded. Get the auger folded back in. Kind of get ourselves put back up here. Jerry should be far enough out of the way. My right, separator is on, and we're back to cutting corn.
Oh, there goes Jerry right now. He's taking the last load off to the co-op before they close here in like five minutes. So hopefully he doesn't make them any more mad than what they probably are going to be. And I'm still bouncing around with all these bales here on my forks. We'll put this down just a little bit. So there's uh, good news and then there's bad news. So the uh, I guess the good news first is that, hey, at least we still have one more field of corn left. And, uh, well, the bad news is, is that we only made it to, well, after I think Jerry gets done taking that load to the co-op, I think we'll be at eh, around negative 115,000. So we didn't quite make it out of the negatives. But we still have one more field left, so that means that we still have a chance. Plus we have soybeans. You know, I'm just trying to get out of the, uh, out of the, this debt that I have, I guess, before the end of this year, and then I have to get another loan to operate for next year. Jeez. Well, that's not good. Let's see. Let's, uh, see what we can do here to stop this from happening real quick. And one of these should just fall off in there, like so, and it disappears. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll pick this one up. Do the same thing. That was my camera. There we go. There we go. Just like that. That's how you do that. Two bales. Cows are fed. Oh, almost ran you over. All right, but we are gonna get out of this field or get out of the pasture real quick and uh, try not to take my fence out. <laughs> All right, let's get this gate shut. Oh, there we go. Negative 112,000. So, yeah, harvest income is. Uh, why can I not shut this gate? Oh, oh, oh! Gate almost got me. But since it is the cover of darkness, we're going to be just in this field right now where we got done putting all those bales in for the uh, farmer that I know that didn't exactly give me permission to do this. So we're just going to use the uh, the night to our advantage since it did take us all day to get that cornfield all done. Let's see so I can get this place perfectly just so I can give you guys an idea of what we're doing. Basically, I'm just going along and I'm just pairing the bales up like so, kind of leaving about a foot and a half gap and then... I'm gonna go along, pick them up in the pairs, and then load them up on the trailer, probably in the next couple of nights, I would say, since I don't want anybody to notice that we're down here. I honest, actually, hold on. I honestly shouldn't even have my headlights on or any lights on, so that way we can be real extra, like, cautious and safe about this, because if somebody sees me down here, oh man, am I screwed. We're talking, we're probably gonna have, like, Hawaii Five O on us or something, like, Johnny Law is gonna come down on me. And it is not going to be pretty. But I am going to keep working down here. Probably take the rest of the night. It is going to be a late night for me. So I'm not going to keep you guys anticipating my uh, my jail or my mugshot. So that being said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for Mid to Midwest Ag for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.